Hello everybody. So I just wanted to clarify um, how we're going to draw a PV diagram for, or rather a TS diagram for a phase changing substance and an ideal gas um, when we're dealing with um, generally like turbines and compressors, uh, turbine and compressor problems. So we're going to have something that, let me just draw the graph first. So we're going to have obviously our graph and we're going to have the S here and the T here, right? So let's start off with a phase changing substance. We're going to obviously have our dome, right? And we know that our TS diagram, let's say we're dealing with like, okay, whether we're dealing with a turbine or a compressor, we're going to have two pressures that we're dealing with. So we're going to get something that looks like that. And then we're going to have, depending on whether we're dealing with a turbine or a compressor, this might be our pressure one or pressure two and, or pressure one and pressure two, right? But what you're going to see with the, um, let's say we go from a lower pressure to a higher pressure. So we're dealing with a compressor, right? We're going to start off with, let's say we start off with a point that's here. Let's say they give us a compressed liquid and we start off with that point, right? For the TS diagram, we're going to have to draw two processes occurring. So we're going to have one that goes straight up, right? And that's for the isentropic compressor that we're dealing with, right? And then we're going to have one that sort of curves to the side. So this is going to be a point, and this is going to be a point. So this is obviously going to be our 2S point and our 2A point. And this is point 1, right? 2S being the, the isentropic state for the second graph, and the 2A being the actual point for the second graph, right? Um, it's pretty straightforward. Um, that first point being the, that they start at the same point, right? Um, now you might end up in the mixture state. This was just an example. We went from a compressed liquid to again a compressed liquid. You might start from a compressed liquid, I guess. Or let's say you start from here. Let's say you start from here, actually. Let's say we're dealing with a compressed, uh, a turbine, right? So it goes from a higher pressure to a lower pressure. And let's say we start off here. It's gonna again be the same thing. So we're gonna go straight down for a for a, and I'm sorry, you should draw arrows on your graphs, on your graphs always. Um, so this is again going to be point 0.1, point 0.2s, and then that again is going to curve, and it's always curving to the right. And why is that? Because um, we're increasing in entropy, right? So this is going to be our 2s and then our 2a. That 2a, the actual, is always curving to the right because of that increase in entropy principle. Right, that process that we're doing is creating entropy, so we're not going to have a perfectly straight line that's occurring. Right, pretty, um, pretty straightforward. Right, so um, let's say we're dealing with an ideal gas now. Um, it's it's basically going to be the same thing, but what we're going to end up getting is something that looks like this. So we have again our T and our S, and we get something that's like this. Right, and I'm not really sure the, the, the physics or thermodynamics that's used here, but there are generally, again, two pressures that we're dealing with, right? So, and this is what I'm not really sure about. Sometimes I see this line sort of slanted at a higher slope than this line. Sometimes I draw my lines parallel, to be honest. But I think the more correct way, let me not say I think the more correct way is this, but I see lines doing this a lot in, in, in problems. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like that, but I don't think they're going to be too picky on the way you draw your lines, so long as you know that there are two different pressures, right, and um, and there there something is going on between them. I think it should be good. So again, let's say we start from like here. Again, we're going to get something like this, and then boom, right? So it's again going to be 2s, 2a, draw our arrows, 1, Boom, we're done. This might be a P1, P2, or you might be vice versa, P1, P2, same thing. Um, again, if we have, if we're starting from that higher pressure and going to that lower pressure, right, we're gonna get something like this again, and then we're gonna get starting from here, boom, straight down, um, something like that. So, it's, 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 oh wow. <laughs> It's pretty straightforward, so don't forget to draw your arrows. Boom, arrows, 2S, 2A, 1. Pretty straightforward. So that's really all you need to know about the um, TS diagrams.
Um, don't forget to leave comments in the comment section if you have any questions or anything. If there's anything that I didn't quite explain properly. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Tell your friends and let's keep learning thermal. Thank you.